Father, we thank you. We magnify your name. Worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Malika. Amen. Amen and amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Mm. Uh, we are here. Sister Pat, please, can you take us to the next slide? Thank you. Uh, we are here today um, for a reason. We are here to seek the face of the Lord. We are here to pray for Nigeria. Um, I just want you to welcome somebody you can chat uh, to everybody. You can chat, just chat generally and say welcome. Welcome to this prayer platform. Uh, we thank God for what he's doing. We thank God because his word is available to us, uh, to guide us, to direct us. And I just want to share very briefly the reason we are here this uh, evening, we are here to do business. We are here to seek the face of the Lord. We are here to cry to the Lord concerning Nigeria. What informed this prayer meeting? Why have we come together as uh, a consortium of women praying tribes, even to seek the face of the Lord? You know, um, all of us, 
who have come together to be a part of this prayer meeting. We are people who watch and pray. We are people who seek the face of the Lord. We pray for the nation. We pray for the body of Christ on our different platforms. And we come together, you know, from time to time to ask ourselves, what is God saying? What has God shown you? What has God said to you? What is going on, you know, spiritually? Because in this season, we all have to be discerning. And in the last, I think about one month, you know, when we were comparing notes, we started seeing a pattern. We started seeing and noticed that God was talking to each one of us about the situation in Nigeria. People were having revelations, visions, dreams of, of you know, uh, secret meetings being held and, you know, just coming up on the scene. And the people holding the meeting are wondering, how did this one get to this meeting? You know, we were having visions of uh, uh, a woman in labor and who was not able to bring forth, traveling and unable to bring forth because the road has been blocked. A uh, vehicle could not get the woman to the hospital. Labor was progressing and it was as if gates were shut, you know, and the child was coming forth and it was as if, the child, you know, so many different things. And we knew that we were battling for the soul of our nation. And so we all came together and we, you know, decided, look, it is not a coincidence that God is showing us women. God is showing us as women all of these visions. It is because God wants us to pray. It is because God wants us not to be silent. It is because God wants us to put the nation before him. And who better to pray? Yes, men are praying. Young people are praying. Children are praying. Youth are praying. But who better to pray? you know, than women who know what it means to travel mm. in the place of labor, who mm. know what it means to, you know, like really travel when it comes to bringing forth. And so this, this evening, we have gathered to travel, you know, and I know that God will honor his word, even mm. in our lives. He would mm. honor his word concerning mm. this nation because mm. we have taken that step to come forward, to come together and to say, we will bring our nation before the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that if my people who are called by my name, you know, will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, he says, I, the Lord, will hear. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that even as we come this evening, the Lord will hear us. Scriptures mm -hmm. on the screen, he says, who has heard of such a thing, mm -hmm. who has seen such things, Shall a land be born in one day or shall a nation be brought forth in a moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth her children. It says, shall I bring to the moment of birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord. Shall I, who causes to bring forth, shut the womb, says your God. God says, I won't bring a woman to the position of pregnancy. And then when it is time to bring forth, I will shut the womb. No, that is not the God we serve. God has, you know, puts Nigeria in a position to bring forth. And so that womb cannot be shut. If there's any delay, if there's anything that is happening that's not of, you know, that's, that doesn't look right, that cannot be God preventing us from bringing forth. It is the enemy. And we have to war in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Several prophecies have gone concerning Nigeria. Several prophecies, several words have been spoken by our forefathers, by our ancestors, by, you know, leaders in the church. And what do we do with the word? We war the word. Some people have been praying for Nigeria since 2020. They did not stop praying. Every night they gather 300, 400 people were still praying and we cannot grow weary. And so this evening, even as we go into the first segment of prayers, it says in Lamentations 2.19, as each night watch begins, get up and cry out in prayer. Mm -hmm. Pour your heart out face to face with the master. Lift high your hands. Beg for the lives of your children who are starving to death out on the streets. Mm -hmm. It is not only the children who are starving. <laughs> mm -hmm. People in Nigeria, young, old, mm -hmm. you know, are starving. Men, women are starving. And so it is time for us to cry to the Lord and say, Lord, we come to you. So this evening, I just welcome you. 
welcome you. We're glad that you are here. It shows that you are passionate about this nation. And even as I say that, I want to welcome uh, uh, the uh, Praying Parents Network, Pastor Hannah Oyebanjo. She will be leading us in the first segment of prayers as we pray for our families, uh, our families, our youth in Nigeria and the next yes, generation. Yes. Welcome, Sister uh, Hannah. God bless you. God bless you, you ma. ma. Thank you, Apostle Debola. The Lord bless you, ma. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your leadership, I must say. And we just thank God for you. God bless you, ma. Brethren, we're going to start to pray. And our very first prayer point is to thank God for the gift of a family. Family yeah, is a gift, we know. <laughs> the Bible says, Psalm 68, verse 6. And you have it on there. It says, God set up the solitary in families. Why would God make up his mind and then choose to begin to set the solitary in family? Which is why some of us have in our homes, house helps. We have, you know, gardeners, people who don't really have family members anymore, more or less, drivers, and who God set them in families. He brings out those who are bound with chains, you know, and all of that. And in Genesis 39, 21, you know, Bible talks about mercy. So we're going to take two prayer points in one. First, let's focus on Thanksgiving first, Psalm 68, verse 6. Lord, thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of my family. Yes. The congregation of family is what makes the nation. That's what makes the community. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of family, oh God. Thank you for the gift of family, oh God. Thank you for the gift of family. Family, oh God, I will bless your name. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Thank you, brethren. Thank you for praying. We're going to pray, you know, that the Lord will raise us up, you know, credible youths from the families that will do God's bidding. We know in 2 Kings chapter 22, we see a story of Josiah. The Bible says he was, thank you for that, amen. Thank you. It's a good place to come in the room and say, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Josiah yeah. was 80 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. The Bible then calls for the name of his mother, hmm, Jedidah, 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 you know, or Jedidah, whichever we go, the daughter of Adai and all of that. And the Bible oh. says he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord and walked oh. in all the way, not some of it, not part of it, not half, all of the way of David, his father. And he did not turn to the right, as even though he was a youth, guided by a mother. And this is why we need to pray this prayer and combine it. Oh. I believe at age eight, yes, you want to go, you are malleable. At age eight, you are impressionable. At age eight. So, the, so God called out the mother's name, not the father. God put the mother's name there, not uncle's name. To know that there was something powering, powering yeah. that leadership. There was something. Yeah. I want us to begin to pray and begin to intercede. Oh Lord for Nigeria. Starting from our homes, homes in the church, homes outside the church. God will begin to combat and raise up youth, Ayama, that we can't fire, that will be used that understand times and seasons. Youth that begins to raise up youth for himself. You begin to because I want us to pray with understanding. You know, someday we do research. I just saw, I survey, you know, some sectors to Nigeria, you know, public, private, especially public, and I looked at what is happening. There is based some gradual intentional handing over of the battle from certain quarters to their children or to youths, youths that don't have righteousness in them. I'm telling you, youths that don't understand what we are talking. And I looked at one or two sectors that there was, and I saw that, oh, oh, Young people are here, 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 but what's their pedigree and their mm -hmm. character? They are, where's, where's the Lord there? You see what we are battling with? And that's already talking about another 10 years or so. I want us mm -hmm. to the Lord we are asking 
by your mm. mercy. We know you can do all things. God help us. What that means is God will begin to help us to raise you that we be bold and higher, that we not be silent, that we understand, that we take governance and we take rulership in dignity. And we begin to manifest it in this journey. Are you praying? Lord, we equip them. Lord, we equip our youth in the name of Jesus. The Lord, we equip our youth in the name of Jesus. The Lord, we equip our youth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, before I take this other scripture, this that's my last scripture. Before I take that scripture, something is coming to mind. I want us to pray a few minutes. I just happened to be in conversation with somebody some time ago, and what was playing out is the fact that some of the youths, and these are Christian families, sometimes have pastors hopes. The youths are seeking ways of expression, but the examples they even see in the home is nothing to write home about. In fact, I was in a meeting today where somebody who is a, who is a child, a child of uh, you know, said said pastoral pastor pastors as camps that you know, and this is supposed to be a, 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 from a Christian believing family. I said church is calm, family is you know, church is calm. Why? Because the examples they are seen at home. I'm linking youth. I'm linking it back to parents. Ah, I want us to pray for parents again. We, the examples these children see generally is not different from what they see in the, in the society. In the so world. they are confused. In, in fact, in one of those cases, the child, the children, in some cases, I will have testimonies of, of youth that will say, I will avenge of my family. For example, a home where the father is tormenting the mother. The son will say, look, once I grow up, I'm going to avenge of I'm going to, I want us to pray for Christian homes now, quickly. Lord, I just back up her. We need revival. We need revival. I want us to pray. Christian families go revival. Fathers and I'm <laughs> 
we thank you because yes. you are watching it by your mercy oh, and we are going to see results in the name Amen. of Jesus. It shall not tarry Amen. anymore. The result is not coming now. Do it well in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor thank you. Hannah. Thank you. At this point, mm -hmm. I believe uh, we're going to have uh, Sister Shola Akitoye. Uh, she leads women ought to pray prayer platform. Sister Shola Akitoye, women ought to pray is a pray another prayer platform where women gather to pray, and she's going to be leading us in the next set of prayers. Sister Shola, over to you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Let us start to thank God for the um for the session we just concluded. For the let's start to give yes. God all the glory. of the Lord, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We exalt you, O Lord. Thank you, Maratha Sende We exalt you. We worship you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray and say, Amen. We are praying for the religion in Nigeria. Um. What are every time I think about the church in the in Nigeria, my yeah. heart my heart bleeds because yeah. we are not where we started. Yeah. The way we started is not what we are doing. We've no. given our souls, most of us have given our souls to the devil. Mm -hmm. We are just playing church. We're doing things as we wish and what should not be found in the midst of the church is mm. what is playing out now, you know, and it's, it's so, it's, it's so disheartening, that's it. Mm. And we are, what we're doing is we are nailing Christ to the cross over and over and over again. Mm. And our children, our next generation, mm. they are just the ones that are going to church are just following suit. They are doing exactly what we're doing in a mm. more reformed way. Mm. And we are complaining, but we have not given them good examples. Mm. So I want us to start to pray concerning the church in Nigeria. I'm focusing on the church, concerning the church. The Bible mm. says, first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things will be added unto it. Matthew 6, 33. Mm. I want us to pray that the church in Nigeria, 
will speak God only. When I say the church, I'm talking about the leadership of the church. I'm talking about the congregation. I'm talking about you as an individual. I'm talking about mm. myself. I want mm. us to pray that we will all go back to our first love. Mm. We will see God. Mm. We will see mm. God like we've never mm. done before. Yes. Righteousness will be restored mm. back into mm. our church mm. in mm. the name of Jesus. Let us start to break it Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're still praying for, for righteousness to reign in our church. And if this happens, genuine righteousness, if it happens, we flow to our nation. Mm. Second Peter 2, 20 to 21 says, if they have escaped the corruption of the world by knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and are again entangled in it mm. and are overcome, they are worse off at the end than they were mm. at the beginning. Mm, 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 they would have been bet it would have been better mm, for them not to have known it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness mm, than to have known it and then turn their backs on the sacred command that was passed on to them mm. The Bible is saying that if they had known, they should not have accepted Christ. But they have accepted him and they have gone back. And it is worse. It is worse, it is worse for, for them to have gone back because they've turned their backs on, on the sacred command that was passed on to them. And that is the position of the church. This passage describes those who reject Christ in favor of the world as enslaved by their own sins. No matter what they may claim, such persons prove their spiritual condition by constantly returning to their moral fields. I'm not talking about all, I don't think all over the world, I don't think they have as many churches as we have in Nigeria. Hmm. 
I don't think people go to church and call the name of God like we do in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I don't think <laughs> it says we have a form of holiness, a form of godliness, but we deny the power. There is no power mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. We don't preach the true Jesus Christ. Because if we preach the true Jesus Christ, we will not love sin. We will not love sin. We will not love unrighteousness. God real God. We, it's it's it's, God, it's, it's, it's uh, we don't Jesus. know God. We don't know Jesus personally, and we don't know Him. We just perform. And tomorrow is Sunday. Everybody is getting ready and just going and doing the same routine every Sunday. That is why there is no power in the church. That's why we cannot influence Nigeria. So I want us to pray again. The Father, we know we have rejected righteousness in our churches. Please show us and bring us back. Bring us back. Yes. Bring us back to yourself. He says the acts of kings and men are in his hands. Yes. And he can change whichever way he wants. Let us start to cry on behalf of the church in Nigeria. Oh, Father Lord, have mercy on the church. Have mercy on us, oh Lord. Bring us back to you. For you more, Lord. Oh, Father God, have mercy. Oh, let us submit to the righteousness of God, O oh Lord. Let us submit to the righteousness of God. Thank you, Father Lord. It's a man with In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. We are still praying for righteousness to to be restored mm. back to our, our nation and to our church. Mm. Matthew 24, 12 to 13 says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, mm. but he shall endure on, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. We have, it's, it's, every time I, I I I I pray about the churches in like my heart just I don't know, you know we uh, it says the because of iniquity the love of many shall wax old. That is where we are in this nation, Nigeria. We have so many false prophets, so many leaders that are taking people to hell. So many, it's, it's, it, we are praying. Let us just pray. Let us just pray. Mm. 
We are going to our God. We are God to help us. We want to go back to our source, Lord. Lord. We move every heart of stone, O Lord, amongst our church leaders and congregation, O Lord. And replace with the heart of flesh in Jesus' name, O Lord. Amen. The scripture saying judgments must begin in the house of God, according to First Peter four seventeen, and we can see that judge the time is now. It says, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Let us pray that God will not judge us as individuals. We are praying for ourselves. <laughs> God, God will not judge us as we ask for mercy to speak against judgment, O oh Lord. Oh, we ask for mercy to speak against judgment in our church. Oh, that everything, everything we hear will not stand against us in the name of judgment. We ask against judgment, O Lord. in the name of the Amen. We pray that the church of God, we will go back to our first love in Jesus' name. Amen. Righteousness Amen. will be restored to our Amen. churches and it will flow Amen. to our nation in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are praying for security in Nigeria. The Bible says godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. Proverbs 1434. Ah, Father Lord, we say righteousness will continue to reign in Nigeria. Amen. We pray Amen. for security in the nation, Security of God will be secured in you. The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. 2 Chronicles 7 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven. And I will forgive their sins and we heal their land. We are prayed for the church. We are now praying that God will heal Nigeria. 
that security will dwell in safety in this nation, O Lord. O Father, our violence shall no more be held in our land, O Lord. Our waste will not be structural within our borders. Our walls shall be closed. Our walls shall be foundation and our gates. Our gates shall be closed. that God will keep us safe in Nigeria Amen. as our hearts turn to him in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall observe Amen. his statutes and keep his judgments Amen. and perform them so Amen. that we can dwell in the land in safety in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Father Lord. Thank we you, give you all the Lord. glory we exalt. Hallelujah. Lord, for answered prayers. We Amen. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank Jesus you, Lord. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Shola. We're going to be praying now for our government and for our leaders and the uh, vessel that has prepared is not in your is can we please mute i'm going to have to mute everybody please um thank you please um the person that's going to be leading us is this uh, Ajibike Taikos Lossin, this tribe of women. She leads this tribe of women. Over to you, Sister Ajibike. Good evening, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. Um, and good evening, everyone. Are you there, ma? Sister Ajibike, we cannot hear you. I hope everybody can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, ma. Okay. Sister Ajibike, we cannot hear you. I think we're having a problem with our um, internet, maybe. She's logged out. Okay. I think her internet is fluctuating. Um, Sister Pat, you can take over and then she will come in after you. So that we do not uh, take any more time. So we okay. will take her session immediately after. I please welcome Sister Pat Diako. She's going to be praying concerning the economy of Nigeria. Whether the enemy likes it or not, we're going to pray for those leaders and we're going to pray for government. Amen. amen. I think somebody will say amen there. Amen. Please, you can mute yourself if there's no noise in your background. Please go amen. ahead, ma. 
Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. And um, we are going to be praying for the economy in Nigeria. Um, scripture says in Ephesians 6, if you read from 10 to 12, I paraphrased, for we wrestle not against flesh and, bl flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, I deliberately put those um, wrestling principalities, these words in red, because I need you to understand. As privileged to do business in Nigeria, and I know that there are actually principalities in charge of every sector. For time, we can't go into details. There are principalities. They are ruled, they are governed, and they have their people, the, the lodges, the Ogbonis, and all of that, who are in charge of those things. For instance, when it comes to power, one reason why we can never have power in Nigeria until we dislodge these principalities is because of the powers and all the things that they have done. And so I need you to understand that these prayers we're praying is a wrestling that we're doing. And so we are going to be decreeing. The Bible says that in the word um, of the king, there is power. And we know yes. that we are kings. We know that the word of God in our mouth is power. So we are going to be making declarations concerning the economy of Nigeria. I put out the, the prayers on, in, on the screen. I just need you yes. to begin to declare them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, today we come and we overrule, we disallow, and we bring diabolical sanction, every submitting activity, every injunction, every directive, every mandate, every order, that opposes the will of the Lord concerning Nigeria's economy. Today we collectively nullify every diabolical decision, every rulings concerning Nigeria's economy. And we say we disallow them. The name of Jesus, the of Nigeria. We cancel all their instructions, all their that all their mandates that we reject allow them in the name of Jesus Mali get the Talarara Liga de the Bush at Araba by our words of God overrule them overturn all that they have done already in the name of Jesus we take control over the empties we take control over the galaxies we take control Control over the atmosphere, so God. Every realm, every region, every domain over Nigeria. We take control over them. And we destroy every yoke in our economic systems. The anointing of God in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 
in every and any way be destroyed today in the name of the the Lord just reminded me of something that we that we went through when we're doing business in Nigeria, and that's about in relation to this second the prayer in red in the middle, the altar mm. of fear. So we mm. got a contract with one of the big telecoms, Etisalat. Now, Etisalat is predominant, is owned by a Muslim community. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. know this. And so mm. we got this contract and it was in, this was like about 15, 15 16 years ago. And it was mm. almost 200 million we're going to do. And now we got to the place of the contract, one of the um, the um, locations was in Abuja. And they told my husband to do certain things that would jeopardize that structure. And he said, no, I am a Christian. I will not do this. And so the man, one of the uh, orgas there told us that we are going to see. Since we say we will not do this, we will see. Brethren, as we speak, we lost 113 million on that project. They didn't pay us, and that was what killed our company. We never recovered Jeez. to the point where, for 11 years, Pastor Debola is aware of this. We owed money for 11, 10 years. It was just sometime this year when the word of the Lord came on the prayer platform where. Um, God said he was going to, you know, deal with um, debt. We paid back after 11 years. I mean, 10 years, we were able to pay back that loan. And so we left that scene. There are so many Christian businesses that the enemy is stifling and destroying because of altars that have been raised, unrighteous altars. I want us to pray these prayers. See, my heart bleeds. People that God has given the talents, the strength and everything, and they go out, their altars are speaking. And so I want us to pray these prayers today. And we are going to begin to dethrone the altars of institutional corruption and iniquity in everywhere you can think about in Nigeria. I've listed some of them here. And so I need you to begin to pull down all those altars. As we pull them down, we are raising altars 
powers of righteousness in the power sector are generators. That is why people will not be able to use solar. People will come up and would have done solar systems that will take, that will solve situations. People will go there and they will go and destroy all their efforts. These are altars that are speaking. Brethren, let's begin to pull down these altars today. Let's dethrone them and raise altars of righteousness. We dethrone altars of institutional corruption and iniquity in the power sector, in the oil industry, in trade and industry, in the mining sector, Nigeria custom services. In the name of Jesus, we dethrone every altar. Altars that are speaking in this in the name of Jesus, the Nigerian Immigration Service, housing sector, protection, all the demons that will wait for skin blood and cause the plane crashes. In the name of Jesus, sir, you will no longer be off, we no longer operate in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, the Ministry of Justice, Department of Land and Development Control. Da will not be able to operate in the sectors. Ah, we pull you down. We pull you down. Institutional corruption and iniquity. In the name of Jesus, we pull you down. Ministry of Justice, every altar, all the ogonis, all the principalities, all the partners in the Ministry of Justice, also we desecrate them right now. Take the blood of Jesus. Desecrate all such altars. The partners of lands and development uh, in all the states are uh, chaos everywhere. Mali pull you down into court or remembrance. The promise of Elba and many others that Nigeria is known for corruption, but then God will do things around. We bring down the waters of abuses and corruption uh, in the offices. Uh, the police, army, navy, air force, the road safety, the bank agency, the name of Jesus, the change, the change, the place in the water, the altars of righteousness, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of the corridors of the power in the name of Jesus. We're going to be praying specifically for the power sector. In the beginning, Bible tells us Genesis 1, 1 to 3. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Now, mm. when God created, we are told that God is a good God. Everything that God does is good. God mm. couldn't so, have created an earth that was form and void and darkness was there. No, something happened. And that's why you see that. And the spirit of God hovering over the mm. face of the water. Then, because of the things that had happened, that had transpired, that have caused darkness, um, uh, all kinds of void and formless, which can be chaos, all kinds of things to happen. Then God now came and said, because of this, God spoke. If you look at what is happening in Nigeria, the chaos mm. that you see, 
people are benefiting from this chaos. Mm -hmm. It was not so from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This was not the Nigeria that I grew up in mm -hmm. as a child. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember Christmas, we will go from mm -hmm. house to house. People we know, those we don't know. We will go in there, we will eat, we will drink, and there was nothing like insecurity, there was nothing like kidnapping, there was nothing like harvesting, you know, human organs and all of that. It was not so. And so because we are the light of the world as believers, we are the salt, we are going to speak just as God spoke. We are going to decree light in Nigeria, both physical light and spiritual light. We are going to begin. You know, a scripture just came to my mind where God told Moses to go and meet Pharaoh as Pharaoh was going to the sea, going to his power source. Every time they are telling us that um, the dam has broken down, kind G is this, kind G is that. I want you to locate it in the spirit. Locate that kind G dam in the spirit. And just as Moses, God told Moses to speak to Pharaoh as he got to that river, we are going to locate this same river, whatever, kind G dam in the spirit, and we are going to begin to prophesy. We are going to begin to decree, let there be light. Every power, every power in that source, we are dethroning them and we are decreeing by the unction of the Holy Spirit. We are decreeing by the unction of the Holy Spirit. There will be no more evil. Every way they come together to generate their power, let's rain down confusion so that we destroy all their tactics, all their communication, we break down. Let's begin to decree light in Nigeria. Let's decree light in Nigeria. Let's be light in Nigeria. All the powers, when you have time read the book of acts 19 from 20 downwards it's talking about Demetrius, how he came together, and mm -hmm. because of the vested interest he had, he was, and as he saw Paul preaching, and the people were turning to Jesus, he used their trade, he used their source of livelihood to cause confusion, to create a mob situation, and that's what's going on right now. There's a, a man who is in charge of every generator that comes into Nigeria. I know yes, this because part of the work that we did was to install generators in some certain places, and a particular company told us the only source and type of generator we must buy because that was the kingpin. And so we are going to begin to pray. Just as Dimitris went and was trying to cause confusion, we are going to cause confusion in their midst as well. We are going to shut down all forms of communications that they have amongst themselves. Let's shut down their portals. Let's cause confusion amongst them. Every tradesman, let's cause confusion. Let's declare that they will no longer enslave Nigeria because of their vested interest. Because of their vested interest, they do not care about this 
nation, only about themselves. Free collaborations that they have. Let's pull them down. Let's cause confusion in their midst. Let's decree. They will no longer operate. We seize their power. In the name of Jesus, we seize their power. In the name of Jesus. Mani can anyone hear me? I can yes, hear you, ma'am. Yes. Should I continue? And then we'll call mm. Sister Jibike to come on. Should I continue, ma'am? The... Yes, you can take your social media slide okay. and then we can call okay, Sister Jibike to come on. Very All right, thank quickly. you. Okay, so I decided to add social media because there's a new economy in social media that a lot of people are not aware of. This new economy is the one that they monetize, you know, their pages, Facebook pages, TikTok, yeah. Instagram, yeah. and all of that. And a lot of Nigerian youth are now making money. In fact, the richest YouTuber right now, I think in the world or in Africa, is a Nigerian. A lot of these young stars in Nigeria they are making money. They are paid in dollars. People, the more views, the more streams, all kinds, Spotify, both music, mm. any kind of nonsense. And if you notice, a lot of chaos have been happening. They, they, mm. All kinds of homes have been destroyed just because people yeah. want content. They come up with all kinds of unimaginable stories about people. Now, the mountain of media is ruled by a spirit, Apollyon. And the meaning of that name is destroyer or destruction. That's why you will find people like this. I, I, I don't like to mention his name, but I have to mention him so you know. Odumeje, who has made a caricature of Christianity and social media. And the man is cashing out because of the views and all the things that are happening. Now, what this spirit does is that he dominates using the spirit of fear and terror to deal with people. So he will concoct lies and all kinds of things and he puts it out there. And that's what is happening. But guess what? We are going to also destroy all their powers because it's yeah. all part of the vested economic interest. So people will do anything so long as they make money. They don't care about what kind of destruction that is happening. You see people these days, people are in danger. People are, are, are dying and people are there filming just because they want content. They want to make money out of somebody's calamity. So let's begin to pray. The prayer points are here. Mm. We are going to call for people with good intentions into this space. Social media is a good place. It's a good place to preach. It's a good place to show forth God's goodness. So let's begin to call for Christians. Let's begin to call for people. So begin to speak the truth. People of integrity. Let's call them forth into this space. Let's call godly financiers. The true Christians who want to God's beating. Let's call for the people of influence who will effectively disciple our young people. Let's release strength onto them to become bearers of content that will lead people to Christ. In the name of Jesus, let's release reliable Christians committed to truth, committed to integrity, to fairness, to bring the message of hope and life into this industry in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, you will be divinely inspired by God. You will be divinely inspired by God. Using their platforms, using their positions to help influence change in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we decree that the Lord will fill them with His Spirit. God will fill them with ability, with intelligence and all wisdom. Protect the kingdom of here on earth. 
They will begin to make more contact between God's love and life. Grace, righteous filmmakers and producers to revelation of God that they will not compromise and conform to political correctness. Pray that they will stand firm for truth. They will stand firm. They will stand firm, conveying God's heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. As for the gatekeepers, the Nollywood, the BBS, the Brother Night, the DSTG, all those gatekeepers, them, all of them, let's begin to renounce corruption in the midst. We see how people are dying now in, in Nollywood. We see how people, young people are just dying. All kinds of sacrifices they are using them for. Let's renounce corruption and perversion within this mountain. We destroy their altar of unrighteousness and in the name of Jesus. Let's severe every collaboration that will bring to perverseness. In the name of Jesus, refuse all unholy and ungodly partnership in entertainment in Nigeria. Back up every evil source of financial resources in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Pat. Let's now pray for our government and leaders. Uh, we call on uh, Sister GBK, uh, Tychos Lawson, this tribe of women. She leads this tribe of women. Uh, Sister GBK, the floor is yours. Please lead us Thank in you. prayers for our government and leaders. Thank you, ma'am. I apologize for the um, earlier break in transmission. There was no reason for it, but I'm back now. Uh, I apologize for the <laughs> interruption. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Pat. Thank you, um, um, Sister Shola. I was speaking earlier on that. Um, um, I, I, I felt the pain when Sister Shola was leading us to pray for the church mm. Um, mm. because, you know, Christ had said in his word in Matthew 6, 23, that if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. And if then mm. the light that is within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? And that light is mm. what Sister Pat referred to. In Genesis 1-3, when there was chaos, what was God's response? Light. And who did he call light? You and I, the church. Mm. And so if the church is distracted and unhealthy, you will have an unhealthy nation. An unhealthy yes. church is an unhealthy nation. An unhealthy mm. nation, unhealthy policies, unhealthy social media space. So we are we are <laughs> we are in the right place, doing the right thing mm. at the right time, mm. praying the right mm. prayers, you know. Mm. So thank you everyone for still holding on for. Uh, it, it, late into the night on a Saturday night, you could have been doing anything else, but God has ordained you to be here. And thank yeah. you so much. So our first prayer um, for for the government um, is going to be leaning on First Timothy chapter two verses one to two. Um, and I'll read for sake of time. I'll read the message version. It's it's right there on our screens. It says the first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know. Well, it's how. Where is sleeping? For everyone. Oh, you you're better. Pray one, pray one especially, hour. Okay, sorry, if, if you're... sorry, I'll have to mute. I will if have you to sleep with your you can see. You can unmute yourself, ma. Please go ahead, sister. Okay. Okay. Can, can you hear me now? Okay. The yes, first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how, for everyone you know, and we know many people in, in government. Pray especially for rulers and their governments to rule well, so we can be quietly about our business of living, simply in humble contemplation, 
this is the way our Savior God wants us to live. So I just want us to pray in the Spirit for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And as you're praying in the Spirit, we're engaging yes. the mind of God. Uh, we're submitting our cries to God. And as many people as come to your heart, you're interceding for them in the government. Pray every way you know how. If it is to cry, we cry out. If it is to speak in our language, tongues, we speak in our understanding. We speak in our understanding. Supplication, prayer. We are even going to give thanks at some point. Let this variant that our people is the government of Nigeria. Nigeria is such a great nation. I mean, I'm sure you've mm. heard this several times mm. and it is not, it, 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 it is the truth. We're not just saying it. We have mm. entered into the spirit. We have gone mm. into history. We have seen the destiny of this nation and we have mm. seen the contention for the soul of this nation over and mm. over and over and again. And it mm. is true. If you have the opportunity of you know, visiting other nations, you will recognize that Nigeria is truly blessed. We are yes. so blessed, immeas immeasurably blessed. It's unimaginable. The things mm. that come to us naturally, people are struggling. Let me use this somewhat uh, simple example. I remember many years ago, my mom, when she, when she wants to cook pepper, uh, sorry, stew, 
she would wash her tomatoes and just pour it, pour the water on 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 the ground in the back backyard. After a while, mm, we grow. That is we grow. Tomatoes started growing mm -hmm. on their mm. own wheel. Nobody mm. put anything mm. there. She was just pouring the water there. Mm. That has never left my mind. That is mm -hmm. how blessed we are. We are effortlessly blessed. It is an yes. effortlessly mm. blessed nation. However, mm. the mm. siege is real. <laughs> the siege is confusing. The siege mm. is darkening. It is destructive. It has mm. in entered into every sector mm. that you can imagine or think of. From mm. the health to education to banking mm. to oil and gas. Name it. The enemy has agents there. And so we're going to pray. Um, Esther chapter 8 and verse 7. It says, Then King Ahasuerus said to, king, to Queen Esther and Mordecai the Jew, Indeed, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and they have hanged him on the gallows because he tried to lay his hand on the Jews. We are a race, a special race, Nigerians. Go and ask and check us out anywhere. We're a peculiar nation. It is the truth. We are not speaking um, Christianese. We are speaking the truth. <laughs> Go into any any industry abroad, in science, in medicine, in banking, you will find a Nigerian there, brilliantly yeah. executing solutions. But you bring them back home, they are destroyed. They are killed. Mm. Why? What is mm. it? There's a spirit that we're contending with. It is a generational spirit. It is a technology that the enemy has has fashioned to, to constantly yeah. stifle creativity, constantly stifle the progress of this nation, trying to make God look like a liar. You ask a, an eight-year-old oh. or a, an 18-year-old, and they will tell you, but my mommy has been praying for Nigeria since I was eight. Mm -hmm. But my mommy oh. has been, you know, they're trying, the enemy is trying so hard to make God look mm. like a liar. Mm. But we know mm. that God is not a man that he should lie. Mm. Neither mm. is he the son of man that he needs to repent. Because he has mm. said it, he will do it. Because he has said it, he will make it good. And in this Nigeria, we will see salvation. And we will, mm. see, we will see the deliverance of the Lord mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. It, will, it will reflect mm. and find expression mm. in the government and the governance and policies mm. that they are making in the name of Jesus. Now, this is the end of mm. Haman. He had been mm. hanged, but mm. Esther entered into mm. her, her office. So we're oh. going to enter into that office tonight. Mm. The Hamanic mm. agents, you see, mm. Haman was a high ranking, in fact, he was the highest ranking mm. official in the government mm. at that time. Yeah. We're not, mm. see, we're, we're not praying nice, kind prayers anymore. That era is mm. over. We, mm. What we want to see is a oh, shift and if it is yeah. going to mean the destruction the removal what however mm -hmm. god wants to do it mm -hmm. so be it right mm -hmm. every hemanic agent that is mm -hmm. because he mm -hmm. brought in a policy mm -hmm. to destroy mm -hmm. a people mm -hmm. and these people that we're talking about are the people of god just like nigeria so we are mm -hmm. now lord we are crying out to you every hemanic yes. agent yes. government yes. Men, yes. men yes. 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 we are not dealing with men we are dealing with spirit oh, and yes. every yes. people yes. that has insisted yes. on yes. letting yes. them yes. be destroyed yes. let them yes. be destroyed yes. in the name of 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 the name they have insisted on shedding the name of 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 the name Yabata, 
in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And then it says here, it says, you yourselves write a decree. So where mm. there's a removal, there has to be a replacement. Okay? Mm. Yes. Mm. You yourselves write a decree concerning mm. the Jews. We're, right, we're going to write decrees concerning Nigerians. As yes. we please, it says, it says, as you please, in the king's in name, the we're king. writing this in the name of the king of kings, of kings. not the yes. king of babies, yes. not the king of, of, of non-entities, but the king of kings. Yeah. Whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring, no one can revoke. So let us go into the spirit now as the king scribes and we begin to write decrees. We begin to write laws. What we want to see in education. But that children must be educated over family and correct in the name of Jesus. No one will be sitting in sand and learning on the powers that has all forgotten in the cities. No one will be sitting in sand and learning on the power of the to continue in the right any longer. we write upon the cabos in the right of men and women, the corridors of the church, the corridors of the church, the in Jesus name in Jesus name as we have have decreed and as we have rewritten decrees, rewritten laws and decrees, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. It will be made manifest. The Bible tells us that a copy of the document was issued as a decree in every province. So in every state, it's not that one state in the north or in the south. No, all the states in Nigeria will will begin to rewrite decrees according to what we have decreed in the name of Jesus. And the enemy will not have a say any longer in the name of Jesus. I remember I had a dream many years ago, and God told me that this dream is what the new Nigeria looks like. In fact, what happened was I saw Barclays Bank, I saw um, um, Wells Fargo, different banks, international banks coming here and operating as retail banks. (laughs) That means there's something that has brought them in. And I looked around and I saw that people were fed and were happy. Nigerians are easy easy to be satisfied. Something has just corrupted the culture 
as it were. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. sake of time, we're just going to thank God. The Bible mm-hmm. tells us in in in, in, in Esther eight sixteen says the Jews had light, they had light and gladness, mm-hmm. joy, mm-hmm. joy and honor. Mm-hmm. The Lord mm-hmm. will give us light. The Lord will gladden mm-hmm. our hearts. Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. the Lord will fill mm-hmm. us with joy. The Lord will honor mm-hmm. us as Nigerians. Let's mm-hmm. just begin to speak mm-hmm. that into the atmosphere, mm-hmm. speaking mm-hmm. light, mm-hmm. speaking gladness, mm-hmm. speaking mm-hmm. joy, mm-hmm. Thank speaking for honor. The and the word of the Lord will run very strongly. You are speaking it. it. By intent of his command to the earth, you are not talking about joy that is mitigated 2020, 2020. We give you a life in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Sister GBK. Thank you. We're just going to call Pastor Benga Demujimi for a closing prayer and benediction, even as we begin to round up tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you so much for all those who have prayed, uh, taken or led different segments of the prayer session. God bless you indeed, and the Lord will hear our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. So bring us over to you, even as you um, round up for us this evening. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, ma. God bless all our mommies in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We are going to thank God that, Lord, we thank you for raising mothers who will carry the pregnancy of new Nigeria mm-hmm. and deliver mm-hmm. the new baby. Hello. Amen. Hello. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hello. Hi, okay. sir. So I'm going to be giving explanation. Then we'll pray under 30 seconds to one minute. Then we just have three. Number one, when the election in the church is fraudulent, don't yeah. expect don't expect a right answer from the nation's election. Yeah. Please yeah. go and watch <clears throat> King of Boys and Shanty Town. There are movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime. You need to understand what is happening in our atmosphere. Mm. we think is a joke we think is a drama we think is a movie no that is what is happening in our nation that they put out as a movie mm-hmm. there is a woman and there is there are a set of women that are controlling the men that you see powerful you see mm. the men you see the powerful men playing the games but you don't see the women behind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I have studied nothing less than 60% of national transformation in the last in the last generation. And what I have seen is that there is always a group of women who are yeah. behind the nation yeah. building. Yeah. Hmm. Remember Olu Ransom Kuti. Remember hmm. Fatima Mada of Syria Law. Remember Sid hmm. Army of Singapore. Remember the women in Rwanda. Remember Dr. Arikana of Zimbabwe. Remember Rosa Parks of America who gave birth mm. to Matthew Luther mm. King Jr. Mm. That was his mentor. Mm. None. All of them. Mm. You may not see mm. them in front one. You may not see them. You may not know their names again. But they are mm. always the one 
who we give direction, who we bat spiritually, what will happen. So, Father, we thank you because you have raised new mothers who are tireless, who are selfless, who will sacrifice their personal vision for nation building in Nigeria. Let's go ahead and begin to thank God in the name of Jesus. They take a most October Thank you, Lord. Thank you for visiting Nigeria that we all to birth, oh God. Father, Father, we are not Jesus name, we are afraid. Two major tools that the devil is using fear and pleasure. Fear through bad news, pleasure mm-hmm. through distractions. Mm-hmm. The script writers of Nigeria daily activities are geniuses and they are majorly Christians. From avoiding accountability two days ago to the people and distracted them with national anthem. Mm-hmm. Listen, people don't understand this game, unfortunately. The day you are supposed to give an account of what you have done in the last one year, two things that they did. To the Gen Z, to the Gen Z, they used a blogger. They, they, they shot out a podcast of a girl who was saying no man can sleep with her without 20 million naira. So that same, the people were distracted. Gen Z, the junior ones, were doing that. The elderly ones who were supposed to apply this yes. job were distracted yes. by national anthem. Yes. It is a deliberate act. Yes. Listen, there are people who sit down every day and write out what plays out in the nation from media to education to economy to everything, and they are largely Christians. Mm-hmm. They do it for money. Mm-hmm. Listen, this yes. one is happening now. Very soon, Big Brother Niger will take over. Yes, and that will run for the next three months. By the time you add three months to the Odun Titan, then you will now start to run it. Ah, Christmas is coming. You now start to run in that. Oh. 95% of participants in Big Brother Niger mm-hmm. are church workers, not just Christians. Yeah. They are church yes. workers. Oh. Why? Because they claim that the church is just using them for their platforms. They are not helping them. I shouldn't lie to you. I have cried today. Because it's like I'm a beggar in raising funds for evangelism and outreaches. Mm. On Children's Day, mm-hmm. a community that they don't have, a community they don't have anything, almost 800 children. I don't know where I went. I don't know how I got money to just make them happy. We took, we gave some children KFC and Chicken Republic one day, and one of the parents said, I have never in my life entered KFC. I don't even know how it looks like, but my children brought this food home and started praying. We have bought ice cream in this city of Lagos that people are lying. That is a mega city. Inside Lagos. Inside Lagos. Not in village. Inside Lagos. We bought ice cream for some children and their parents said they have never tasted ice cream in their life. Hmm. We have no reason to be paying for darkness via the discos because the gas being fled daily in Nigeria can power Nigeria and two other countries. I am giving you data. I'm not giving you revelation. We power Nigeria. Ajaukuta still in Ajaukuta, Kogi State alone. We power one third of Nigeria without blinking. 
After the order of Genesis chapter 9 from ah. verse 1 to 11, Lord, scatter every cartel working with our slave Kali mashita kali nebo makala basota ya ibra kala basata ya kali bosika ya ibra basuka ya basika ya basika ibra basuka basata ya kala basheta amen at the last prayer point at the last prayer point we are going to pray that what happened in 1998 into 1999 during our transition to Democratic rule should happen. Oh. That means fire of revival should break out on the street. Listen, listen. Fire of revival will not break out in the church. All the streets will not break out. Oh. You see, that, that will take care of all the fakeness, the deceivers of prophecies, uh, all the all taken care of. Don't be distracted with those ones. All those ones will be taken mm. care of. It's okay that we pray about them, but let us concentrate on the root. Mm. Mm. Ma, mommy, wa, our mommies, do you know that last year some of our brethren traveled somewhere outside Nigeria to go and do crusade and thousands of people gathered. And everybody was shouting, screaming on social media. Ah, they have done this, they have done that, they have done this. Hey, see people, bye, 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 boo, boo, boo. I got it from first hand authority that one of those meetings where they paid some crazy thousands of pounds, not 100,000, not 200,000 pounds. Oh, for the sound equipment and lighting mm. that the company that supplied those things was a gay community. Mm. Wow. wow. Some of our brethren that went last year, about four of them, a particular one I'm not going to mention. In fact, they wanted to put out the invoice of the payment that see how Christians are financing LGBTQ community. Huh. Mm. Is it that they don't know? Is it that they don't <laughs> do their due diligence or what? Mm. Mm. But some of us here, the few landed properties, the few, the few reserves that we have, we have withdrawn, we have used it to do evangelism and outreach. Mm -hmm. And because we don't have churches, because we don't have crowd, the so-called pastors that they have not even they have not even born again when we went Bible school, they see us, they look down on us. Mm -hmm. For them to even greet us in, in conferences is a problem because we don't have mopos, we don't have siren. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. People respect anointing based on the size of aircraft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is now Jeep mm. collect onto Jeep, not Jeep collect onto Jeep again. It's Jeep mm. collect onto Jeep. Jeep calling to Jeep. Jeep. Mm. My book, mm. Better mm. Picking, could not scale through the altars. Somebody prayed about altars the other time. Couldn't, I think Mama Pat, couldn't scale through the altar of one educational district in Lagos State. To, there are six educational districts in Lagos State who have been the commissioners of education in Lagos State. My book could not scale through one. Only one educational district that they gave us as pilots. That was the mm. end because I did not compromise. Mm. Mm. Nigerian churches don't understand systems. The mountains mm. that we're talking about, they don't understand. And the few who understand are running abroad under the guise of apostolic nations. Mm. Their personal empires are more important to them than the peace and prosperity of their members. Solar farm of a university in Nigeria was burnt down 
because of diesel suppliers. And the boss who joined in that catastrophe is a deacon. Mm -hmm. uh, church. The best yeah. auto designer in the world at the time, named Jelani Aliyu, I'm giving you names, Jelani Aliyu, born in Sokoto of General Motors, was invited to Nigeria under Buhari and he became unproductive. Nobody heard about him again today. Mm. Mm. Innocent mm. motor is being patronized by African countries and not by Nigeria. Toby Ajayi mm. is a 35 year old young man who, who owned North Automobile, N O R D, North Automobile. No government is supporting him. MRAP mm. is in Jebu after Odogolu. They, mm. they made a warfare truck. Listen to me, man. They made a warfare truck. That the tire, if you if Boko Haram bomb the tire, the tire can still carry the truck for one and a half hours. Nigerian army did not buy from them. They went to Germany to go and buy the one that we, the bomb can destroy under 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. We have the agenda, uh -huh. but we don't have kingdom agenda. Mm -hmm. Lord. Absolutely. One of the prophecies of Pa Elton before he died was a Nigeria. We become the envy of, of the whole world. Lord, Bro. let fire of revival break out. Master Kaba Shata Balabas, let the fire of revival break out. Father, let the fire of revival break out. 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 From the north to the south, from the east to the west, O Kaba Kaba Shata, fire of revival break out. All over the lake of Makaba Shata, let it stand like a white fire. Master Kaba Shata, Rabas Shata, through Pa Elton before he died in Elisha says mm. Mm. suddenly Nigeria will turn to righteousness. Mm. Nigeria will become the envy of the whole world. Mm. Mm. Yes. In the world. Righteousness exalts a nation, not religion. No. Hmm. Lord, today we thank you because the spirit of righteousness we overthrow every one of us in this Amen. land in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you because our sons will no longer be Yahweh. Amen. 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 Our daughters will no longer be all shows and prostitutes. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all our mummies that have led tonight. The blood of Jesus soak every one of us. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous of the two and the saved. Lord, and finally, the laborer. We always be or should be the first partaker of divine. Ayo, Adebo Egalo Kori Nigba to Pandara Olu Wajeki Wadibe. When Nigeria, when Nigeria we flourish again, Lord, we will be alive. Amen. We will be alive. We will be heavy. And we will be in your will. We will be in the center of your will. In the Amen. name of Amen. Amen. tomorrow, in all centers where the name of Jesus will be mentioned tomorrow, let righteousness be the center of Sabu. Lord, go and convince the ministers of God in the land to begin to preach Jesus and Jesus crucified. Only Jesus Christ, so that the heart of men shall be righteous in the name of Jesus. And the convener of this meeting, the Lord keep you, man. The Lord bless you, the Lord uphold you in the name of Jesus. God bless Nigeria and God bless everyone of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me quickly announce that our next prayer for Nigeria as a, a consortium will be on the 1st of October. The next Amen. one will be on the 1st of October. It doesn't mean we're not going to be praying for Nigeria on our separate platforms, but I'm talking about collectively. 
It will be on the 1st of October. Thank you so thank much, you. everyone, for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to all thank our mothers. Thank you for organizing this program. God bless, bless you all. God bless you. Thank the, you. The, 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 you. Of Nigeria will you. be thank in you. the next time in the Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're we'll we'll great. Amen. 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 Amen.